Hi guys, Scott Preds with Pretty Online. Uh, thanks for coming back and humoring me and watching the channel, all that good stuff. Uh, now, today I've just got a straight up announcement. Um, it's kind of for uh, you guys who are more involved in the uh, taxonomy and morphology of your spiders at home. Uh, I was very, very excited last week to um, notice a friend of mine, Ray Gabriel, had um, dropped me an email into my inbox and the title of that email was uh, got two, two papers for you to, to have a look at and uh, this I'm more concerned with, uh, concerned, I'm more excited about one paper in particular and uh, I'm not going to go into the depths of um, you know explaining the actual taxonomy behind it but um, there are a uh, few changes that you might want to make to your uh, labeling of your spiders in your spider rooms. So the, the paper was um, entitled, um, basically it was um, addressing um, arboreal ornithoctonites. So it was addressing the Lampropelma violaceps, it was addressing some forming ochylus, um, and I got, I got really, really, really excited. So, um, I'll explain the reason why I got excited. Of course, I love my Asian arboreals, especially these kind of species, but also as well, um, there was a paper, you should remember back in, in 2015, by Andrew Smith and Michael Jacoby, that uh, moved um, everything from the genus Haplopelma into the genus Cyribogopus. Now their paper didn't really look at that genus, it just uh, had to move them to so that they could make uh, spaces basically for some arboreal ornithoctonite. So first things first, you think, oh my god, so Ray's been working on this for Ray and Danny Sherwood as well, so um, Daniela Sherwood have been working on this for a long time and I thought mm, they may have may, you know sorted out that stuff um, stuff that I personally at the time didn't really agree with they haven't that's the bad news about the paper and I can see why they haven't they've concentrated on the arboreal ornithoctonite so I'll just list now the species of what's been changed what's been synonymized and um, any new species that have been kind of described. So uh, the first, of course, is Lampropelma violaceps, so the Singapore blue tarantula. That now is accepted as Omothymus violaceps. So the 2015 paper with Michael um, Jacoby and Andrew Smith, uh, the World Spider Catalogue didn't accept their change from Lampropelma to Omothymus because uh, it's really stated that there wasn't a clear description of an, ac an accurate, clear description of the male of Omothymus violaceps. Uh, that's now done. The most surprising one and absolutely fantastic in my mind, so the Lampropelma nigerimum arboricola. So remember there's the Lampropelma nigerimum and the Lampropelma nigerimum arboricola. Well, the Lampropelma nigerimum arboricola is now forming Ochylus arboricola. So that's mix. So that you know, if you if you mix up your spider, those two spiders now, that's sorted. Uh, Omothymus shedetti is now synonymous with Omothymus thorelli. So that means that they're the same spider. Now, forming Ochylus carpenteri. So uh, the spider named after Paul Carpenter, that uh, is now Lampropelma carpenteri. The Omothymus dromius is now Melagonathus Mel <laughs> dromius. Melagonathus dromius. The forming Ochylus kirki is now synonymous with the uh, Lampropelma carpenteri. So um, the carpenteri is some, sometimes called um, Sulawesi black in, in, um, in the hobby, you know, the pet trade. 
so hopefully you know uh, people can start labeling them properly in the pet trade so that we know exactly what we're actually buying uh, so formula Kylus tigrinus is now synonymous with formula Kylus everetti and formula Kylus fushi is now synonymous with omothymus fushi so those are kind of the the big ones in there um, what I was expecting but I didn't ha have is updates on um, Omothymus uh, or you know uh, Cyrobogoba species Hattie 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 has not been touched in this paper uh, Formula Kyla species Rufus has not been t uh, looked at in this paper uh, the Formula Kyla species Sabah Blue has not been looked at the Sabah Red and the Akaya, so those formula coilers have not been addressed uh, on this paper. So I should imagine, and I'll have to have a word with Ray about this when I see him next. Um, the logical next step is kind of kind of addressing those. So that would be my logical next step, and that would be really really exciting. Um, but no revert back to haplopelma that was uh, surprising especially uh, after speaking to a lot of people in the taxonomy field I uh, you know I expected that but then this paper doesn't address any fossorial spiders especially um, especially the genus haplopelma but I've had this email for a while well for a, for a bit now and I didn't know whether I was allowed to share it or not yet but I'm, I'm allowed to share it now so crack in uh, I will do a more in-depth kind of uh, video I'm not too sure how popular that kind of video would go because it's very 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 involved and um, quite will be long confusing and um, boring really for most people who watch my channel but I'll make that video I might release it I'll have a look how it goes but until then excellent times get your pens and papers out start labeling your spiders especially now one of the most iconic spiders in the hobby uh, Omothymus violoseps so change your lamp propelma violoseps to Omothymus violoseps Cheers guys, like, comment, subscribe, keep coming back to the channel and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.